Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. I'm taking a little bit of time and returning to White Orchard in order to complete the contract Devil by the Well. Now this, I guess it really isn't that great of a mission, but it was the first side mission I had done in the game, so it's the one that tends to stick out in my mind the most as one of the side missions in this game. So we're going to go take a few minutes and do it. Now it could have uh, passed on to Velen at this point and not gone back to White Orchard at all, don't need to be here anymore. But, you know, we're going back just for this. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher, felt dreadfully ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that, if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well... It's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin? That settles it then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. It's not strictly necessary that side missions need some sort of framing device of a story in order to build up and give you some sort of a motivation to do it. But it's something that the developers of this game went and did for a majority of these missions. Now you can sort of stumble up upon this ghost and kill it and then find out later that there was a contract on it and then go and wrap it up. But it gives you a little bit more of a connection to the story or a connection to the mission if it has this framing device of a guy looking to cure his daughter of sickness. Now I do like the fact that they so grounded it a little bit in something that seems a little bit more real. Guy's daughter is sick, she needs fresh water. The war has, let's say, fouled the water source that they're using. So they need to use groundwater, something that won't that's get it, contaminated by dead bodies in the river. But the only well nearby is the one in this abandoned village, so we need to go there and free up the well for his access. But there's a ghost there, so he can't just go there and get it because the ghost kills people. Now that's where it sort of strays away from its grounded from nature. It's well. not grounded anymore when we gotta go kill a ghost. Maybe but we can't just run up here day. and kill the ghost we got to go seek the ghost now. Now, in As order to the fight the ghost scorched. at all, we need to wait until noon and then have it appear, and then we can fight the damn thing. So, well, we're going to have to wait a little bit, but I'm going to run about and pick up the shit around here. There's really no point in not stealing everybody's items, but I mean, nobody lives here anyway. And if you're not looting every damn thing you stumble across, well, Geralt's never going to have enough of anything, really. <laughs> Buildings are collapsed and there's trees growing inside the houses. But there's no, uh, but the paths haven't been overtaken by nature yet. That's weird. <laughs> All 
Alright, so what you go and do and activate the Witcher sense, sense oh jeez. It's sort of like a few episodes ago when we were seeking out the Griffin's Nest. Where you activate the Witcher Body's senses and you go and look around at things signs and Garrett burns, comes to certain conclusions and all that kind of stuff. Rave. And then he'll eventually you tell you the answer once you found enough well. information. So we gotta go do that. I Perhaps we have found everything we needed. Okay, it only comes out at noon, so you gotta go and wait till noon. And then the witch will appear. Well, not the witch, the ghost. But it doesn't appear right away, so I run around like an idiot for a bit. I wonder what it's doing here. Alright, so this is a wraith monster. The way you kill these things... Well, they're difficult to damage, because even if you're using the silver sword and the appropriate oil, your sword passes through them. It does do damage, but it doesn't do significant damage. So what you gotta do is throw down this Yarden, I think it's pronounced, <laughs> trap. And while it's in that... Oh, I died. A new wraith. I guess I had to try that twice. So you can put down the oils on your on your weapon, and you can do all that kind of crap, but you really need to throw down the magical trap. While the enemy is inside of your magical Strange. trap, you can She's go and damage them appropriately. Now it looks like, although I didn't explore this, it looks like there's a possibility that you can complete the puzzle without the ghost attacking you. Because it's closer. sitting here and just going around in circles and doesn't really attack you until you get close to it. Although it's about to attack now. Alright, let's see if I can figure it out. Up, oh, it sort of goes incorporeal a little bit. And it doesn't attack. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cheap shot. See, the sword is damaging it, but not doing significant damage. Once it gets itself inside of this circle, then that's when you can do some real damage to the thing. Although it is a little bit frustrating because it has to be, like, inside the circle. And it doesn't leave you a lot of room to do the kind of dodges and stuff that Geralt needs to do for beast attacks. Because that's basically what we're doing here. I don't think he can... She fled, but she'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. Okay, so we have to actually solve the puzzle about what's going on here. So, I guess we could have just solved it right then and where, where it was. But, well, no, we did have to hop down into this hole. You jump down into the well, and then you go and find part of the body and a sort of bracelet that the ghost used to have. Now, that's really all we needed down here. And then you got to figure your way out because you can't climb back up the well. This well is connected to a cave, and it takes us out. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. A bracelet with an inscription. To Claire, from Volker. Bracelet was on an arm bone. Wonder where the rest of the body is. Now we just sort of need to get out of here. So I'm going to speed time up as Geralt finds his way out. And then my stupid ass finds its way back into town and then jumps in like a friggin' idiot. <laughs> I guess you could have, if you happen to have luck, go that way. Just to stumble across this lake first and then swim into there, rather than um, going the other way around. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. I don't remember any of these clues appearing during our first attempt looking around in this area. But they're here now, so let's check it out. Blood stains. Almost faded. 
but the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Let's take another look. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions. And the bracelet. Igni. I guess there's no saving a monster like this. You can't lift its curse or do anything like that. You just sort of have to kill it. So we're going to go and do that. Now you destroy its body and you destroy the bracelet. And I guess those are the two things that were keeping it tied to the mortal world. And once they're burned, I guess the monster can be killed properly. <laughs> it's split up into multiple versions of itself. <laughs> I guess maybe only one of them might have been real, or maybe they were all real and you had to kill all of them or something. I don't know. Oh, Geralt's almost dead. <laughs> Gotta watch the toxicity rating. It's a bar under the life bar. The higher that gets, all well, bad shit starts to happen. I'm pretty far down now. But it can be tempting just to use the swallow, pour, pour, uh, swallow potion all the time to try to keep Geralt alive. Because he doesn't regenerate health. And he doesn't do it while resting or anything like that. You have to balance the toxicity with... Oh, got it. Got to balance toxicity with health. And use a lot more food to keep he uh, Geralt's health up rather than potions. Okay, we completed the mission. Now we just gotta go run back and turn in. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Or that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, Names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. How about that? Never expected to get a dowry. Nor did I suppose I'd ever give one to a Witcher. Strange times these, wouldn't you say? Strange and sad. Mm-hmm. 